Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play the Dragon Quest Remake. So, I have done the grindings as you see and I am now max level. Don't ask why I went to max level, I just did. And our next step is going to be not exactly direct, but we need to go first back to go look around a bathhouse. If you might recall, there was somebody that said there was something four steps south of the bathhouse in uh, Myra. I believe my item should also be pretty empty. Yeah. And then after that, we are going to take care of a thing that's been kind of hinted at a few times, and now we can since we have keys and enough levels. I believe I probably could have taken care of it at level 15, but... Hmm. Figure, why not go in as strong as possible? It has been a hot minute since I played this. Been a little while since the last recording session, so the overworld is a little hazy. There it is. Not completely, but just hazy enough. It's like, where, where do I exactly need to go anymore? Anyway. So this is kind of an intuitive But in this case, four steps is like four half steps. If you saw that, I need to go four steps south of the bathhouse. Well, we find a thing called the fairy flute. And it even puts it up there. So let's try using it. And at the moment, it does absolutely nothing. So, we have this item. It is not all that useful at the moment. It becomes much more useful later. So let us return. But yeah, I probably should show off status here. Status. We have all the magic we will ever get. Firebane. Heal more, stop spell, sleep, fireball, heal, radiant, outside, return, repel. That's all the spells you get. With heal more and firebane just being much higher level, higher cost versions of the heal and fireball spell. Of course, if you probably guessed. So we would, since we're not going to need the fairy flute for a little while... We are going to dump the fairy flute into storage. Also, yes, I have a ton of freaking gold. Nope. Because we have a, uh, we have a silver heart to go look for. Silver Heart being in the town of Garai. Formerly Garenham. And we even got cryptic clues about pushing against hidden walls to find secret passages and all that. Shoo. Also, the monsters around here pose absolutely no threat whatsoever. There is literally no purpose for me gaining experience because I cannot gain experience. It is maxed out. And as a matter of fact, it's a funny little coincidence. Which is not really a coincidence. Your experience is pretty much maxed out 
for the integers the game can store for digits. For that digit, anyway. Luckily, they let you get a lot more gold than they do experience. Even if you'll never use that much. So, we are here. I know I've cast a couple spells, so let's go ahead and spend six gold. Weep over the loss of six gold. And then we can talk to people. So the Silver Harp calls monsters and sends them rushing toward you. He doesn't want us to continue. Kind of awesomeness. And he wants us to search for ourselves. Yeah, well, that's useless. I wonder, do you ever actually leave your little spots? Yes, you do. So, we burned one key. We don't need more than the six for what we're about to do. Because this person gives you a freebie. And also, the door we're looking for to push up against, the hidden passage, is right in here. There it is. You. You wish to be annoying. Got it. Okay, so the grave is going to be dark. You know, I've got the thing. It's not going to give us a whole lot of light, but it will give us some. And the grave here is full of a few places that we don't really care too much about visiting. It has a couple chests in it. But nothing too game-breaking. It has another key if you want it. There are some acorns of life. But mostly we are here to get one very particular item. The, uh, the silver harp. So... We can just do that, but let's go ahead and get the other items, even though they're not all that useful for us. We'll get into some more fights, but nothing we can't handle. I'm not going to say what that looks like. That looks completely different these days. I think it's a pattern. No. One turn too early. Still not going to say what that looks like. We found the nut of life. We found a magic key to replenish the one we used to get in here. And found some gold that we definitely needed. We definitely needed more gold. South. Doesn't really matter. This is kind of an open loop here, but we need to get south from here. Because 
there is a door up ahead. Which one of our keys will unlock. And we go around this little winding path here. Run into another... I don't know if we've seen Drakimi yet. I think we have. In either case, we run into it. And then we go here. Now, there are, I think, five down staircases here. We only care about two of them. And the one right there at our one right there at our side is not one of the ones we care about. The two we care about are a little ways off in the distance. They both lead to the same room, but oh well, all these staircases down lead to the same area. But there are blocked off passages. If we were to go into that one right up there to the upper right, that means we get in a small square room and can't do anything but just kind of stare at the walls. So, there's no purpose going there. So we're immediately going to pass up that first staircase. And go all the way over to the left here. To where there is a treasure down here. It's not all that useful. But we get new music. Kind of. Which is interrupted by the battle music. Get in there. Oops. And all it's got is gold. Not all that useful. So we can go down south from here wind around and we will end up at another staircase back up to the floor we're at but it is a longer trip so uh we are just going to go back to the staircase we went we went to down because it's a slightly shorter trip to get back there these half steps were good for the one puzzle but they make me turn way too early way too often benefits of being way too overleveled. So this wasn't the one. The one we want is actually the one directly south of here. That is the way to progress, and I walked right the hell by it. So, this is not the bottom floor, but it is the floor that we will find our goal on. There's... The only treasure on this floor is the gold we picked up in the one chest, and we couldn't get there from here, so we had to go down the other chest to get to it. This is the staircase we want. Luckily, it's, uh, there's not a whole lot to this little section. It looks like it could be, but it's not it's just a big loop around. It's basically a big circle that leads over here. Once we get over here, we are now back on the same floor we were just on. And voila! Silver Heart. And now we have our goal. Does this say anything? So, what we are going to do now, since we have no reason to stick around in here, we leave this place completely. I cast Radiant for no reason whatsoever, because I was trying to get to return and hit the button early for some strange reason. And now we are back at the main castle. From the main castle, we have a place we're going to go to. 
but this is a slightly shorter trip to get there from where we were. But I believe with another major with another major goal out of the way, I believe it's time to call this a video. When we return, well, we've got a couple more things we need to tend to. There's some armor. There's a token. There's, well, there's a staff we need to get hold of, but we can't get a hold of those without the other stuff. So, you know, that type of thing. We've got, we've got options. But for now, take care, everybody. I will see, I will heal up and see you all next time right here after I do. Later.